Coming up on the Twin My Heart reunion part one. So Nate, that's a lot of kisses. I just didn't want to be another notch on his belt either, so. Ow. Oh! I went in thinking I had no chance. I don't know why I'm crying again. <laughs> I almost cried watching that. We're going to talk about the elephant in the room, Nate and Aaron. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Nate. And welcome to the Twin My Heart season three reunion. Woo! We made it. This is our second time doing a Twin My Heart reunion. Say hi. 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 So we're pros at this. Let's see how today goes because we have a lot of questions to ask Nate and I'm sure the Twin My Heart contestants have a lot of questions as well. Oh boy, okay, well I have some questions I wanna ask too. We'll get to that, but first, let's say hi to all of the contestants from season three. Hi ladies! Hi! Hi! hi. hi. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sophia couldn't make it today and we wish her the best. Before we get into all the questions, what have you guys been up to since filming? I think everyone's doing a little bit of different things. School, work, moving to new cities. We've all been busy. Yeah. Due to fan request, we had our first ever guy on Twin My Heart this season. And Nate and the ladies didn't waste any time to get close, so let's take a look. <laughs> I don't know if it's the fog machine, but things are getting really steamy between Aaron and Nate. Our faces are getting <laughs> close. I'm teasing her for the music video. Yeah. It's okay. an epic point. Oh my oh. god! That's so steamy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these. Look at Brie go! <laughs> that the one? Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> I want to see that one. That was probably really cute. <laughs> Is that what that really means, though? I mean, I according know. to Dre and Josh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. That's what Dre and Josh would say. Mm. You want to test it out? I test it out. You test it out? Oh! So Nate. I mean. That's a lot of kisses. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of kisses. I, uh, I felt like I had a connection with these girls and I thought it was the right time to kiss them at those times, so. Yeah, we're starting off hot. Well, two of the contestants were not ready to give their kisses away, so let's take a look at that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what was your date? Okay, I was, I was trying not to like compare myself to like the other girls' dates, because I know like you had said like he had asked, like to kiss you, and then he kissed you, and then he kissed you. Did he? Huh. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, he wait, kissed you. you. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't kiss you. He asked. He asked. He asked. No, she, he didn't, asked. she didn't say he that. No one asked. You, wait, wait, he asked you? Yeah, it's okay. <gasps> I said no. Wait, when did he ask you? I don't like that he's kissing other girls. I'm gonna be straight up. Exactly. I don't like that. I don't no. like that at all, and I... I don't want to be. I don't want to be just, just another, like another yeah, girl he's kissing because then it's just not gonna feel special on my end. He hasn't like tried to kiss me. I like don't even know. So just funny. <laughs> Aaron's face. Aaron's face. <laughs> Daniela and Kay, can you tell us why you both were feeling that way? I didn't want to kiss him because obviously he was kissing other girls. So I just felt like I guess me kissing him just wasn't going to feel special anymore because he has been kissing all these other girls. That's just what I felt in that moment. Yeah, and I didn't. I just didn't want to be another notch on his belt either. So. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a dating show. Like, did any of you guys not expect like that to happen a little bit? No, we we definitely did, Nate. But every girl was under the impression that you know they were your the only one type thing. Going into it, we kind of expected it a little bit, and so I think like the only difference is like it's one thing to be like, okay, I'm going into this. I know this is what's gonna happen. But then when it's actually happening, like. I don't think you can fully prepare for the feelings that are gonna come with that. I kind of felt insecure about it since like, you know, he had kissed almost everybody and like not me. And I was like, okay. It was like a really sucky feeling to like know that you weren't, like he didn't try to initiate. I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like nothing happened. Yeah, so actually I just felt like the times that I kissed the girls that I did, like we were having like a moment and Gabby, I just didn't feel like we had our moment yet. 
All right, well, with the cameras always rolling, nothing is private on Twin My Heart, not even a kiss. So let's take a look. I have nothing but the most respect for you, and I truly feel honored to have you here standing right next to me. Well, with that said, there's one more thing that I wanted to do. Okay. me. <laughs> <laughs> so Nate and Brianna, when did you both realize that the other ladies saw your kiss? Um, I think it was the next day somebody told me. I forget who, who told me, but someone told me that the girls saw his kiss. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit frustrated at first because I thought like the girls were kind of just like spying. But then I found out that there was a window um, right next to them in the barn and they could just see us kissing. I didn't know we were that visible right there. So, I mean, it's not their fault that they saw us kiss, but you know, that was supposed to be like a, like a intimate moment. So, how did everybody else feel about seeing that moment? Was it discouraging or what? I thought it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we were spying because like, we just turned our heads and it was like happening in front of us. I <laughs> promise yeah. we were not spying. We heard your no, deep I know, voice I know, I know. and the night and you're like, all you hear is this, no, 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 And then we just You like, heard everything too? <laughs> we could hear your deep voice, no, just no, a we voice. Could, we could hear yeah. like the conversation. Oh, that's so But we couldn't tell what and, was And we on. were all shook. I was like, I've never seen this on any of the other seasons. But then like, once she came back smiling and grinning, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> take us all out there, okay? <laughs> so that case seemed to prompt one of the most dramatic exits in Twin My Heart history. So let's take a look. There was just some things that I thought I had worked on and that I thought I was okay. And I realized that I still have a lot of things to work on myself. There's just so many insecurities that just came up that once again, I thought I was over and they're not. And um, it's hard for me, obviously seeing the guy that I like talking to other girls and like obviously having all these moments and it just brought back so many like insecurities that once again I thought I was over with. I thought I was confident. So are you, are you trying to say you need to leave? I think I'm at a point where I need to love myself first mm -hmm. before I can love somebody else because I don't want to throw my baggage on you because that's not fair. That gave me goosebumps. <laughs> You're so strong. Thank you. I don't know why I'm crying again. <laughs> I almost cried watching that. Daniela, what are your thoughts right now? What's happening over there? I'm gonna be super honest. I went in, I guess, to this competition thinking I had no chance. Thinking like there's just no way. I'm someone who just clearly doesn't have confidence and it's something that I'm constantly working on. So obviously I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be good enough. He's not gonna find me interesting or whatever. So I was just beating myself up. All these insecurities that I thought I had worked on because there was a moment in my life where I felt good about myself and I thought, okay, I got this. I'm okay, I'm good enough, I'm confident. In that moment, all these insecurities just came running back and I didn't know how to push them to the side, to be honest, I had no control in that moment and it sucked because obviously I then started to catch feelings for Nate and I started to think that it's like okay he's here to find love and as I got to know him I realized that he's a great guy and he deserves love he deserves someone who's just ready to shower him with all this love and I realized that I didn't have that in that moment I don't have that because I don't love myself and I realized I needed to put myself first because I need to love myself first before I can then give that love to somebody else who clearly deserves it because he's so amazing. So looking back at it now, do you feel like you made the right decision? I definitely think I did because I'm working on myself and I, 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 feel, I feel a little better. This is not something that's gonna go away from one day to another, it's something that I have to constantly be working at. Nate, you ran after Daniela after you had that talk. So let's take a look at what happened.
Please stay. What? Please stay. You want me to... I, want you, I want you to know that you are worth fighting for. And I know that this is hard, but what relationships are not hard? And I like you a lot. And I really want you to stay. I really want you to stay. so worth, obviously. You're worth it. <sighs> I just don't want to be like this. You know what I mean? Like I said, I should be happy. But I feel like I just shouldn't be like this all the time. I shouldn't be feeling like this. I had no clue that happened. No, no, was at all. Yeah, no that was yeah. so cute though. Like, I want to cry. I want to smile. Was that was like the yeah. sweetest yeah. thing ever. That's that was cool. like some Romeo oh. and Juliet type stuff right there. Daniela, you're yeah. so cute, baby. You're so strong. Daniela, I want to tell you, you are so beautiful too. Like, so beautiful. And I think yeah. at the beginning of the competition, you were probably the biggest threat. Yeah, to honestly. Everybody. Honestly. So don't ever feel like you're not good enough. I know every girl has like those feelings, but you are absolutely so and you're Trust so me. strong and mature to be like No, I need to love myself so that I can even love you like oh my gosh. Yeah. I love you and so Nate You're right. She is yeah. worth fighting for so good job. Okay <laughs> she was. She was. It's hard to watch because obviously I really liked him and a part of me wanted to stay I just I knew I had to put myself first in that situation I didn't want to like I like I said in the video. I didn't want to throw my baggage on to him, I didn't think it was fair. Like he's here to receive love, you know, to get love, and I, and I feel like he deserves that. He needs someone who's ready to just shower him with love. Nate, why was it so important for you to go back to her? Because I feel like we developed a connection pretty quickly, and it was super upsetting, you know, to hear that she wanted to leave. Because I know she was going through things, but I would have been, I mean, that wouldn't affected how I felt towards her or anything, you know. <clears throat> so sorry, this is our dog about. Um, I would have regretted it if I didn't, you know, go and at least attempt to make her stay because I really wanted her to stay. We had a connection and I liked her. So while this was a sad moment for Nate and Daniela, some of the girls saw the silver lining in Daniela leaving. So let's take a look. I don't know if Daniela's coming back. I I was so I was I was thinking she was leaving as she was walking that way, but then when he walked back out again. I thought maybe she'll, he's going to get her. He just doesn't want her to go, like, yeah. if there's something there. Yeah. Right. I want her to stay, she's awesome. But like, one less, I'm like, less it makes it easier. I was thinking the same thing, I was like, like we all want to be the last one here, so. Right. If one less person is here, that <laughs> just makes our chances easier, so. It's a Ultimately, like at the end of the day, it was a competition, and so, like, I 100% love you, Daniela. You're one of the first people I feel like I connected with, especially day one with our Nate's Angels team. Um, and I was super sad to see you go, but I know you were having a little bit of a hard time, and I think we all kind of saw that the night before. So I don't want you to take that as like a, yay, she's going home, because like we really were sad about it, and it was so unexpected, and out of the blue. But I love you, <laughs> don't take that the wrong way. It's okay, I love you too, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, I was gonna say, we don't love you any less because of it. All right, so switching gears, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room, Nate and Aaron. Let's take a look at the moment their not so distant history was revealed. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a few twin emojis in the comments below. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, also subscribe to our channel while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Next time on the Twin My Heart reunion. Were you just being two-faced? Were you not keeping it real? It wasn't like an extravagant like meeting or anything. Are y'all sure it wasn't extravagant? We all thought it was an advantage for you. You cannot get mad if two people have like been romantically involved. Like, in retrospect, you're very sorry. It was a group effort. <laughs> but Aaron did write the note. Okay, I will say I wrote the note. Oh, wow. What? Um, you're no. chickening out. No, no. No! Nate, were you interested in Aaron before the show? Uh...